So while I was doing my check of the audio level, I was listening uh, back, and it said the custodian holds the keys. I don't know why I didn't hear that the first time. Uh, but yes, that's precisely what he said. Hello. Ooh, hello. People live home too. Me welcome. They scream. I hurt. Hurt them. No more people. Could you go ahead and assume you're the custodian? Yeah, buddy. What the fuck is that thing? Please don't scream at me. Okay. Nope, I'm out. Sorry. Hey, detergent used in many drug circles as a form of as a form of currency. I should. Oh shit! There he is. Tame detergent. Do not run in this section. All right, we're gonna go up because he was down there. This must be the girl. Pretty hood. Me say hi, but would scare her. Me watching walls, voice in walls. Pretty hair, scary voice. I'm no longer alone. So he knows who I am. Brilliant. Let's get the fuck over there then. Get the fuck away from this scary little bastard. I don't know which way he's gonna come to next. Assumingly, he makes the same circle. So I should be able to just... Go right down here. And right out this door. So this is already kind of a lot scarier than... Play again soon. Okay. See, see you later, buddy. I would love to unlock the door with the janitor's keys. Thank you. Awesome. What are you? Make a moment. Stand still for five seconds. Okay, I'm pretty sure I went over five seconds. Oh. Hello? Oh god, not puzzles already! Alright, what's up on the shelf here? Tools line the shelf, all seem a bit too rusty for use. I think I've already screwed it up by putting that thing down there. Um, make a moment. Hold still for five seconds. Four. There we go. Make a oh, make a moment. Stand still for five seconds. Well, how would I make that moment stand still for five seconds? I don't know. Um, God knows I hate puzzles. All right, we'll come back for that in a second. How many doors are there? There's four doors, isn't there? But I only have three uses. Don't. Yeah, I should be picky what I open. Um. Oh shit, there's actually more than... Oh, uh, crap. Well, now I've saved, so if I screw this up, I can go back. We have one janitor key use left.
awesome. I regret coming in here. Moths are beautiful creatures, far more valuable than man. To have begun their life as mere filthy maggots just fascinates me. I wish to someday dispose of my shriveled flesh and join the moths in a state of greater being. Humanity is but filth in comparison. Can I catch the moths? Come here, Mr. Moth. No? I'm out. That was weird. I regret opening that door. I'm not going to open the one with the... Do not open, lest you be cursed, bitch. You have zero janitor keys left. Damn it, did I open another useless one? It's an answering machine. One new message. Hey, Edvin. This is your boss, Norman. Listen, the reports you sent in today didn't quite come out correctly. Ooh, sorry, buddy. Looks like you're gonna have to do them over again. A bit harsh, but hey, I know you've got nothing better to do. You always had that balding head of yours wrapped up more in your studies and work than anything resembling a good time. <laughs> I remember when we were kids, and we used to rag on you all the time for studying so hard. Always working so hard. But boy, your grades certainly didn't show it. Compared to you, even a lazy jackass like me looked like flippin' Einstein. <laughs> what an idiot. Oh, good times. But hey, at least you had one saving grace in your life, huh? Knowing me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty great. Giving a poor chump like you a job like this? Yeah. I pat myself on the back every once in a while for that one. Man, you really do owe me, huh? Well, just remember that I hired your sorry ass as you work on that report tonight. Wanted on my desk by morning. And if you so much as mention overtime pay, well, you can kiss your sorry ass to the curb, you good-for-nothing son of a- <laughs> Oh, I know you won't. Give your mom my regards. Those cookies? Mm. No, let me emphasize that. Mm -hmm. They were absolutely to die for. Can you cook like that? Why can't you cook like that? No good genes passed on, I say. Anyway, tomorrow, report pronto. Now, toodles, Edmund, darling. Well, aren't you a cocksucker? Alright, moving on. I used my last key to talk to that douchebag. Whatever. Downstairs we go, I guess. Guess I can see if I can go outside. Where is... The door is locked. So Auntie G lives in the same building as me, or... Oh, don't go downstairs. Dear God. Not in a basement. Oh, there's rats. That's fine. That's right. You fuck off. In the corner, you little shit. Let's go. Whatever. Huh? What the f fuck are you? <laughs> what the f a butt came out of this well. What? Giant hole in the wall. Some aluminum <laughs> beans have been placed over it. Wonder what's hidden. I don't know, but the butt's chasing me. Madam? Um, Starry? Oh, yes? Hey, shithead. I thought I told you to get the hell out of here. This really isn't a place for someone like you to call home. Oh, Rocket. Uh, yeah, you did tell me, but, well... Well... Rocket! Hey, what are you, deaf and dumb? I told you to leave. Squatting here ain't no place for someone as fragile as you to be hanging around at anyway. 
But I didn't want to leave you here all alone. I think staying together would maybe benefit both of us anyways. You're always being so stubborn and unwilling to accept any help. And I admit, I'm a bit naive and don't know the ropes of living homeless yet. Us runaways need to stick together. No, we really fucking don't. <laughs> so sorry, I should have laughed at that. Listen, kid, I get it. You're new to this whole hobo life thing. It's all new and exciting for you still, all glamorous or some shit. You think we can be friends. But I don't need any of that naivety, and you don't need to settle on this shithole. Anyway, I told you to stay away from me. You give me the creeps. Ouch. What? Don't say that. I just think we can get by better if we stick together. Everybody needs a friend. We could watch out for each other in these hard times and help each other take on the challenges we face. Would you mind if I tag along? Well... I don't mind. Let her tag oh, along. Fine. That was a lot of options there. Sure, you can tag along. But I'm not your babysitter, okay? You scratch- G Got it! You're working for me. I look me. forward to getting to know you. We really don't need to get to know each other. It might be better if we don't. I'll be your partner, but that doesn't mean we're friends. Huh? Ah, come on, Rocket. Oh, I don't mean to intrude. Just, it might help out. Like, roommates, you know? Pfft. Implying we have a home. We have a home! Come on, shithead. I was off to see Auntie G and this don't change nothing. Please, don't call me that. Hey! Come on, Starry. You want to check out something cool? Check this guy out. Aw, oh, really? Man, whatever, Mr. Butt. You suck. Go get my friend and now you won't come out? Whatever. To a second apartment building. Yes, go upstairs. Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoa. You're right there, game? Jesus. I need to write this even though my hands are shaking. Everyone's dead. We just went in and now they're all dead. I thought that twisted janitor was bad enough, but what the fuck even are those? If you read this, turn the fuck around right now. You don't want to go further, trust me. I don't know what's going on, but I know what I'm going to do. I'll lock myself in this room. I ain't ever coming out. Number of bookshelves rest in the corner of the room. Various fictional stories take up the shelf space. Mostly classics. Interesting. Game, what's the matter all of a sudden? Okay. Oh, this shelf has books about economy. Like, I give a fuck. Assumingly, this is the room that the guy's locked himself in. Oh, no. This room's online. That looks a bit scary, though. That looks like a hotel more than an apartment building. It's like an ice room and stuff. Design that kind of looks like a fork on it. Interesting. Ship in a bottle. Uh, let's see. Okay, whoa. Okay, calm down. About various subjects. Um... Children's fairy tales. Fairy tales. Oh. Okay. They're not just children's stories, Rocket. Aren't they? The history behind these stories are often pretty dark and fascinating. The way they've been adapted into so many forms. I'm actually with you on this one. Even if none of the stories are true, there's something magical about very fairy tales. So, uh, if you're a Doctor Who fan, you might 
have a good comeback to this. Uh, he says that all stories are true. Uh, that the ones that are, I think it's like the ones that aren't are, or the ones that are fairy tales are just ones that have been forgotten at this point. Something timeless about them that's caught our imagination for centuries. So read one with me, Rocket. It'll be fun. Is that starry? I'm yeah. assuming so. Rocket, are you there? Oh no, I zoned out, okay. It was somebody else. Oh, yeah, I'm here. Sorry, just kind of spaced out a bit. Clearly. What's on your mind? Squeezing your chest. <clears throat> I was thinking about my sister. I was just thinking about my younger sister. I'm willing to get to get to share stuff with Starry. I haven't I seen like her in her. a long while, and I was reminded of her. Is all. You have a younger sister. You've never mentioned her before. Yeah, I tried to leave a lot of my past behind me. I needed to get away from there, but. I hope she's okay. Interesting. Sorry, we should continue. Let's get going. Indeed so, Rocket. I am going to run to a safe point, I think. Hang on, let's go back down to the basement. Do I still lag down in the basement? No, I do not. So it's just this area for some reason. That's really weird. All right, I guess we'll just push on through this area. I wonder what's causing it to do that. Yeah, even in this room, I'm fine again. What the heck? where you go to get ice? Sure, why not? Well, now I've saved. Let's take a little look and see. Old Grandfather Clock seems to be having one heck of a time. Where can I find a four? Mm -hmm. This door is locked. A crescent moon. Hello. Starry? Huh? Starry? Where'd she go? S Starry? And the door is... It's fucked off now! Door got the fuck out of here. Starry? Uh, shit, shit, shit. Hello? Oh, no, no, no. Janitor again? Right, you're super loud, so where the fuck are you? Oh shit. Hi. Oh, fair enough. Why? Hello. 
Hello. Absolutely not. But, but sure, because I'm sure you want me to. Oh, I missed the narrator. This first game is simple. Find me. You got it, buddy. Oh, what? I'm in first person now. What the hell? Oh, it says home. Hello? Hello? Oh, no. Okay. We're gonna have to find him in a maze. 60 seconds. Oh shit. Alright, well I was gonna say let's hold off until next time, but you know what? If we've got 60 seconds, let's fucking go. Uh, shit, 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 shit. Um, how about over here? Um, fuck, I'm good with mazes. Come on, you giant creepy asshole. I know. Oh God, what's he going to fucking do to me? Ten seconds. Ten seconds, thank you. I have no I, I've been here before shit I suck You didn't find me Nope you're the ultimate hide and seek champion Let me find you I'd really prefer if you didn't Uh oh Okay, we're going to work next time. See you later.